Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Today is the day. The time has finally come for my for oh. Jerry duty. Hmm, no. My steampunk appreciation convention. Everything must be perfect. Yes, everything must be. Steampunk! Everyone will be so impressed because this is impressive. Because I'm impressive. Egad! Look at the time. Welcome everyone to the oh. And it's a long fly ball into center field. Oh, but drop! Thanks for letting us hang out, Princess. What do you guys want to do? I want to sit on you. Um. Gray toys. Morph. So you do know me. None of you came to my steampunk convention. I was up all night preparing it. Oh, sorry, Moth. I guess we just forgot. Plus, the big bark ball game is on today. Well, you could have invited me. But you hate bark ball. Remember last time? Is anything in this game even steam-powered? Uh, no. Ah, yes. Well, if you want, we can come over after the game wraps up. No, no, that won't be necessary. I suppose I'll just see myself out. No! Oh! All righty, bud. I'll catch you later. Jeez, I kind of feel bad for Moth. You think we should go visit his house? Yes, please. Let's go now. Mr. Moth, are you there? Oh, Irving's child. Well, that's nice. Huh? Moth, where are you going? Why do you have a suitcase? Moth, Moth, Moth! If you must know, I've decided I'm leaving. What? Why? Because no one here appreciates me. I don't understand it. I'm handsome. I'm a true gentleman. I'm always trying to help people out by telling them what's wrong with music today. But does anyone notice? No. And so the time has come for me to use this. Behold, the steam. What is it? The Steam Gate is a portal I built using information from this library book. It will allow me to travel into another dimension. A wonderful world where everything is powered by steam and people all have impeccable taste. Hey, Moth, I like your mustache. Yeah! Wait, so you're going to another dimension full of weirdos just like you? Hmm, I don't expect you to understand. Now stand back. Things are about to get steamy. Farewell, little bug grove. I now go to meet my grand destiny. And don't touch my stuff when I'm gone. Dimension? Hi, Moth! Oh, man. He's such a mess. Dude, we gotta help him. Wait, you wanna help Moth? Look, Phil and I aren't steampunk dorks, but we know what it's like to be left out. It stunk before we had you as our friend. Well, maybe Moth just needs a friend. Well... Time to destroy this piece of junk. What? What's this? Some kind of steamy note. Hmm. Hello, Master Builder. Your portal is not a failure, but it only works one way, so don't be sad, okay? You're really cool and handsome. Bye! Uh, 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 from the other side! He got the note we left him. Aww, look at his little smile. Apparently, they can see me. How else would they have known how handsome I am? I've got to go reply to this message. 
Looks like some kind of poem. I once was alone. Then you threw me a bone. Anyways, I'm off. Beautiful. We've got to send him another letter. Mm, I don't know. I'm just not so sure now. Is that honest? Who cares? He's happy, right? I guess you guys are right. And I think I know how to keep talking to him. No! Hello? Moth, can you hear me? Ah, yes, I can hear you. This is, uh... Arthur? I'm Steampunky! Me too, Arthur, me too! I can't believe it, we're actually talking! Hold on a second, I want to show you something. This is my accordion. It's my favorite steam-powered instrument. Well, technically it's air-powered, which is like room temperature steam, I guess, but whatever! Oh, no! Whoops! Ah. Messed up. Did you like it? Of course. That was great. Arthur, I feel like I could talk to you forever. So I will. When you tell a good joke, a real friend laughs at the good joke. When you show off your stuff, a real friend thinks your stuff is cool stuff. When you share your political views, a real friend will love you and accept you no matter what, even if they disagree. Cause real friends are the best kinds of friends, they are never imaginary. So, Arthur, what are you wearing? Is it, uh, Victorian? Oh, uh, I'm wearing a, uh, an old-timey diver's helmet. You know, Arthur, I... I just feel so comfortable with you. I I just have to tell you, I think you're my best friend. You guys, I don't know about this. Well, we can't just stop now. He'll be crushed. Arthur, are you there? I just had a wonderful idea. I Why don't you come visit me here in Little Park? We'll always have each other and we'll build steampunk stuff and I and I I'll never be alone again. I'd love to, but I'm in a hot air balloon, so it's all right. Say no more. My friends in this dimension always have excuses too. Harvey. Um, actually, what I meant to say was, I'd love to come over to Little Mark because I'm a totally real god. Goody! Ah, just give me an hour to clean up and bake a gluten-free cake. Now what are we gonna do? Mom thinks he's gonna meet Arthur in an hour. Guess we'll have to go find Arthur. Gosh, there he is! Hello, Arthur! Welcome to Little Bark. Hello, I'm here. It is I, your steampunk friend, Arthur! Whoa! Here I am. Totally real, totally steampunk. Oh, my mustache has fallen off. We'll just grab it. Oh, man! I didn't mean to ruin the cake. Cake! Whoa. Whoa. I should have known better than to... than to think anyone in any dimension would care about me. Moth, wait! We were just trying to... Don't! I thought we were doing something good. So why do I feel so terrible? Yeah, I feel icky. Oh. I guess if you're trying to make someone happy, you probably shouldn't do it by lying. I just wish there was some way we could show Moth we care about him. For real. Come on, I think I have an idea. Oh, no, oh, what now? I should have unplugged that blasted machine. Ta -da! Goodbye. Mom, wait! We're really sorry we lied to you, but I think we might have something to make you feel better. Okay, guys! Surprise! Huh? What? All right, people. Single file, please. Hey, man. How's it going? Hi, Mom. I, 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 I don't understand. All these 
These people came tonight because they're your friends who really care about you in this dimension. They came for me. All right, let's pump some steam. Check it out, huh? No, okay, well, Irving, throwing little bolts out of your pockets isn't really steampunk, but I appreciate the effort, friend. You got it, pal. Hey, Ma, this old-timey, yeah, also futuristic stuff is kind of cool. What's it all about? No! Oh! Come, my friends! We shall begin the steampunk appreciation tour! Excuse the mess in my house, I've been a little depressed. Now, do you all understand what a subgenre is? 